What's up guys, Coin Trick So2 here with another edition of What's New. Um decided to come up here and talk about um the state of TNA. I mean uh, I decided this because you know, I was watching TNA last night and the show was okay I guess but um I just feel like TNA is you know steadily just falling man it's just it's just going down like the ratings everything is going down I mean from so much has changed over the last like you know two or three years in TNA I mean you just look at it right now you can see it if you're if you're a TNA fan you you, bet, you definitely notice this I mean from the fact that the pay-per-views are only down to what they have like four or three pay-per-views a, a year um, basically because nobody was buying the pay-per-views you know nobody if nobody buys pay per view, what's the reason of having a pay-per-view so they only have uh, I think four at most uh, pay-per-views a year and they have these little like um, I don't know what to call them like um, uh, like mini pay-per-views or whatever I don't know what to call them like they're like TNA presents you know uh, Hardcore Justice but it's not really a, um, a pay-per-view it's like a I don't know what it is maybe it's like it's cheaper than buying a pay-per-view though that's all I know it's like half the price of a pay-per-view whatever it is so they do those and you know that's really about it and basically uh the last month or so i mean you've seen a lot of talent being released like they do this they've been doing this um gut check thing and most of the talent from the gut check are gone they have been released for some reason not sure why i mean not saying that i care that much but i mean you're trying to do this thing to find new talent and you sign them and then you release them and it's like what um, then they also released, uh, other talent, like, um, Joey Ryan, Matt Morgan, who's been with TNA for the longest time, they released Matt Morgan, uh, RVD left the company because they, because they couldn't, uh, settle an agreement, and now he's in WB, they released, um, D'Lo Brown, who was willing to, uh, uh, come up with a new contract. But they didn't want him back or something. I don't know what happened with that. Uh, Pritchard. Um, who else was it? Um, Don West left a couple, what, a year or two ago. Um, and Tara. Tara recently left. And they released uh, Doc, a.k.a. Luke Gallows, without any explanation on TV. They just, like, dropped him and, you know, haven't said anything about him. A guy who seemed like he was going to get a push as a face eventually, but, um, you know, now he's gone. So, all that talent gone. And I even heard, like, at a uh, house show that half the, some of the talent weren't able to, uh, you know, compete in that certain, in that wherever they were, so they had to, like, kind of make up a, you know, a half-ass show, um, because the half the talent couldn't compete, so, like, what, like, seriously, like, TNA, like, I understand that, you know, sales aren't doing good, right, but you can't let me messing up like that, man, like, that's just terrible business right there, uh, I know the fans weren't happy about that, it's just, it's just bad, state of TNA is just, just isn't good right now, I mean, I'm not being biased, of uh, you know, I'm not trying to be a biased wrestling fan. I mean, yes, I am a WWE fan at heart, and you know, I come up here and talk mostly about WWE. But uh, back when TNA was really good, uh, I've never been, I never liked TNA better than WWE, and that's never happened with me. But TNA was a great, uh, you know, a different, you know, a, di a friend, a different. Uh, what can I say? This alternative. Alternative, you know, other than WWE, that's what it was. It was different, you know. I could, you know, when I got tired of WWE, I go and see what TNA is doing, and you know, they're kicking ass over there with the exhibition and all that stuff. And it's, you know, but nowadays, like, I have no choice but to like WWE. TNA is making me enjoy the WWE product uh, more lately. WWE, I'm not gonna say, I'm not trying, like I'm saying, I'm not trying to be biased, but WWE's been doing pretty, you know, better. Have them been doing better stuff than uh, TNA has. And, um, it's just, it's, I don't know, I'm not, I'm sure, I'm not really sure what they can do to improve this, but, um, you know, 
losing talent like Matt Morgan, you know, isn't good. These guys aren't, you know, happy about their contracts, so they, you know, they leave, and hey, some of them don't even have. Um, I even heard that like some people, some wrestlers weren't even getting paid, and half of wrestlers like guys like Joey Ryan, who are like lower tier, they only get paid what like fifty dollars a show. Like, they're not even, like, on a real contract. It's like, I don't know what it is. A handshake agreement, I guess. I don't know. Then they, another thing, like, the X Division is, just isn't what it is anymore. Most of the talent that they show on on the, uh, on programming aren't even signed to TNA. They borrow them from other promotions to use for, you know, their big shows. Like, uh, Homicide. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if Trent Beretta is signed with TNA or not, but he's probably not. Um, so many, like, all these guys, you know, aren't signed with TNA, and they can't really, you know, make a storyline or anything deep with them, just there to, you know, to make, ex make, to have great matches, which is, you know, in my opinion, that's a terrible thing to do, I mean, you, how can fans invest in these people if they're not there, you know, every single week, they're not there to, you know, be, to really become, um, you know, a star, all they have is what, uh, Manic, Manic's like the only guy I can really think of, um, and the the bad influence guys, you know, uh, Kaz and those guys. Other than that, like, I don't. There's nobody really signed to the X Division. It's not, you know, something to be really investing. Oh, they got Kenny King too, but um, yeah. Why like invest into the X Division when there's like nobody really there? You know, you, you see these guys come in. You're like, you're, they're not gonna win because they're not signed with the company. So what's the purpose, like? other than having a great match and another thing another thing that was terrible in my opinion is the uh making uh the X Division uh the rules have to be a triple threat like uh you know match every time there's a the titles on the line which is in my opinion just so dumb I mean how can you make a storyline how can there be a storyline um you know if the title is, if the uh, every single match is a triple threat match, I mean, you can't do like this a triangle storyline every single time. It's just not gonna work. So like, there's no stories in the X Division, so you can't invest into the characters. They're just there to wrestle. That's about it. So you know that sucks. Um, then you got Aces and Eights, uh, the main guys, Aces and Eights, and uh, Main Event Mafia. Which I mean, why bring about the Main Event Mafia? I mean, God, I mean, seriously, I'm just ready for Sting to retire. I love Sting. He's an awesome wrestler. Respect him. I want him to go in the WWE Hall of Fame one time, but I feel like his run with TNA is done. I mean, they're just recycling old stuff. Like, Made of Mafia is so, what, whenever that, whenever it was made years ago. Like, nobody wants to see Made of it Mafia. We're tired of uh, TNA fans. I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe they like it. It seems like they like it in the Impact Zone and, uh, you know, wherever they go, but... I mean, I'm just tired of seeing uh, stables, you know, everywhere, you know, groups. There's always a group versus a group in TNA, and that, that whole storyline is just played out, man. I mean, seriously, it's, it reminds me of, like, WCW towards the end with the the uh, with the with NWO and the, you know, the Wolfpack and all that stuff, man. Like, this, this stuff just gets really annoying, and, like, you just don't care about it. What well, they should be doing, now, this is my opinion. I don't know if they can fix the company or not, really. But things they could do to improve it, in my opinion, make the X Division Championship, uh, the, the rules for the, the X Division, no longer triple threats. They can have the, it can be a one on one match, fatal four, whatever. It doesn't have to be triple threat. That was just, and I don't know whoever made that up, but that that was like the stupidest thing you could you could have done, because you can't invest in any of the characters. Um. Try to promote guys better, you know. Um, guys like uh, AJ and Tre Jeff Hardy, these are top-tier guys, yet they're not on the show every single week for some reason. Sometimes they're off the show, sometimes they're not. Those guys should be on the show every single week, uh, you know, and having a really good storyline. Right now they're just there for the Bound for Glory. Nothing wrong with the Bound for Glory tournament, but, you know, that kind of stops, you know, uh, story, real, real big storylines from happening. Really, um, it's a cool concept, but, you know, I'm really, I really don't, like, like it that much, but it's whatever. Um, but, yeah, guys like that, they, they need to definitely promote them better. 
uh, get rid of the stables. I love Bully Ray, um, Devon, and you know Anderson's okay in Aces and Ace, but everybody else they just, they're not important. They're just there, you know, in Aces and Ace. like the Briscoe and uh, uh, what like the rest of them, Mike Knox. Those guys are just there, you know. They're not doing anything. Why, wow, you know, I, I, I really want this this storyline to die like as soon as possible. Main event mafia needs to end. Even though it just begun, it needs to just, you know, stop all that crap. We're just so fed up with that in TNA. I'm so fed up with that in TNA. Um, you know, it's just, they, um, the, they, the only thing, the best is to say that the best thing that's going on in the uh, in TNA is probably the, the knockouts division. They have that over WWE. The knockouts division is definitely pretty good. They're doing good stuff with that. Mick James is a great heel. But other than that, like, uh, they can keep that the same. That's it. It's Get some more deals in there too. Why not? But um, yeah, that's basically what they can do. And you know, stop releasing talent. You want to invest in these gut check guys. Keep them around. See what they do. Um, and and stop getting like the they get like the dumbest looking people too. I'm sorry, like Rockstar Spud. Like what the heck? Like who who who's gonna invest into a character like that? Like, I don't know. It's whatever though. Um, TNA is you know they're hurting and. Basically, I don't know, man. In a couple of years, it could be gone. I definitely think Hulk Hogan's going to be out of there before that happens. So uh, he can basically say, uh, you know, they, I left. You know, um, they went down when I left. So he's not trying to take the blame for TNA's failures. Um, I don't want them to fail. Personally, I like there being two different programs for me to watch. Um, but then again, I love to see Kurt Angle back in WWE. And that's probably the best way that's going to happen. But anyway... TNA, I want you guys to be successful. You gotta change some things up. That was just my opinion on you know what's going on with you guys and what you should do to improve the uh, product. Um, just try to do something fresh, man. I just want to see something really fresh. We've seen this stuff you guys been doing. That you've been recycling it uh, for a really really long time. I want to see some new fresh stuff that isn't you know s totally stupid. So uh, that's guys. That's it, guys. I want to put my uh, my two cents about Impact Wrestling. Comment, rate, subscribe. Stay good, everybody. Peace.